Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a dynamic chart using only VBA. I'm doing some stock index research now. For example, I want to see whether the percentage change of new high and new low stocks have any relationship with the index, and if they do, how they affect each other. I have the new high, new low data. And uh, some other research data stored uh, in the separate worksheet. I wanted the chart has the following function. First, the historical data can be generated at any time I wanted, with any range of duration I wanted. So I could move in from long term to short term period, or jumping into any significant point in time efficiently. Second. I can choose different set of data in the separated worksheet easily. So in the future, if I generate some data from different index of a different country, I only need to import them into the workbook and study them right away. Third, I could export the chart as a picture easily. So I could compare those chart picture with a different parameter setting later, or I could share with a colleague. Or on the internet. Okay, let's first see how it works. We see here the blue line is the index price, green and red is the new high, new low. On the top is the name of the chart. PR just means the name of the research. 60 is just the parameter I set to generate the new high, new low. It means on a given date. If the stock price is the largest one of the recent 60 trading days, then this stock will be considered a new high. SHA is just what I call Shanghai Composite Index. The rest is the time period. We can see here there are many different parameter setting. I have the smallest 60 trading days to the largest 360. If I choose 360 with the same time period, we can see the results are quite different. Right now, we are in the largest time period, more than four years. If we want to look into details in short time period, we can use the scroll bar on the right to change the time period, and we can use the scroll bar on the bottom. To move the time forward or backward, we can move one day at a time, or several day, or drag to the time we wanted. And if we really want to check the detail, we can enlarge the chart into the daily basis, and then active the chart, which will enable two line shape to follow the mouse, will guide us to see more of the detail. Lastly. We can export the current chart by click here. It will be saved into the same folder of the workbox as a picture with the same name of the chart. Now let's talk about how to create a chart using Excel VBA. In this case, we are create a line chart with two vertical axes. The primary axis on the left used to display the new high, new low data. The one on the right is for the index price. Here is the source code. First, we declare an object called SHP1. Then use the shape objects method, add chart to create a chart. Because in Excel, a chart is a type of shape, and use the property top left height width to put the chart in the range. A1 to Z44. We use method set source data to tell Excel where the data located and use them to generate the chart. Then we use the property chart type to tell the Excel what chart you wanted. In this case, we need a line chart. Here is the link of the full list of the chart type Excel supported. Then we use the object series collection. To change the chart type of the index price data series to line marker, just to make it easy to tell the difference between the index line and the new high, new low lines. Then we use the property axis group 
to set the index price data series to be viewed on secondary axis. Something needed to be aware is uh, the index number of the series collection is 1 for the index price data series. But we see here the price is on the column number 2. That's because index number is being stored as an array. And an array in computer language is counting start from 0. If you are interested in this topic, there is a chart object reference documentation online. Here is the link. Ok, that's concluding this video. I will recording another two videos in the future, one of them to demonstrate how to use scrollbar, which is uh, one of the ActiveX controls, to change the time series and to move the time point, and another video to demonstrate how to use chart invent to move line shapes to follow the mouse. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.